the Earth is an amazing blue planet, covered 75% with water, the essence of life itself. Without water, life would not exist. Water makes our planet unique in our solar system, and the presence of water is what astronomers look for in their search for life on other planets. Like the Earth, the human body is also, on average, 75% water. Without water, none of the processes that support life can exist. While we can go without food for many weeks, we can only live a few days without water. Yet only 2% of the Earth's water is drinkable. And billions of people worldwide don't have access to clean drinking water. In this video, you'll learn a lot about water. You'll also be introduced to Dr. Richard Cohen, MD, a doctor who practices integrative anti-aging medicine and performance sports nutrition. We really don't think too much about water. It's something that comes out of our tap. It's something that's in the ocean. But um, what I want people to realize is that we are essentially water. Our brain is 90% water. Our blood is 80% water. Our muscles are 70% water. So without water, our bodies cease to exist. Water is the essence of life. Water carries oxygen and nutrients to the cells. Water regulates body temperature. Water helps the body absorb nutrients and convert food to energy. Water protects and cushions vital organs and cushions the joints. Water removes metabolic waste from the cells through the lymphatic system. Without water, life ceases to exist. Water is just water, right? Tap water, filtered water, spring water, well water, bottled water. Some are a little more pure than the rest. Others have more minerals and taste better. Long history of scientific research about water and its healing ability. The common denominator uh, with all these different cultures that have this vibrancy is their source of water and the properties that that water consists of. When we look at natural water, you know, there, there are four or five different properties um, that, that are critical. Drinking ionized alkaline water, the equivalent of ancestral or glacial water, is an affordable, practical, and accessible solution to provide the body with a constant stream of alkaline bicarbonate buffers to neutralize acidity with no side effects. We do understand that having a plastic dump the size of Texas floating around in the Pacific Ocean and now is broken down into micro little plastics and getting into fish and other animals is not a good thing. If you're thirsty, you're way behind. That's a clear point. Our thirst mechanism doesn't kick in until we're already slightly dehydrated. Um, so an athlete can spend hours and hours training. Um, and in a, for example, a one hour event, you know, a 3% reduction is almost two minutes. And that's the difference between winning or losing a race. An acidic condition for the body is very unhealthy. Um, when the body is chronically acidic, um, illnesses can develop. When the body becomes acid, systems begin to malfunction. Um, you know, we, we understand fish tanks and swimming pools. Um, when they're acid, you need to make a change. When, when a fish tank is acid, fish die. When a pool becomes too acid, you don't want to go in it. And when this acidity builds up, it in essence is one of the reasons for disease in, in, in our body. Um, bones begin to demineralize. Um, our ability to create energy decreases. Our, our immune system becomes depressed. The inflammation for aches and pains increases. Not a good thing to be acid. 80% of the foods we consume leave behind acid waste that the body has to deal with. A trip down the modern grocery store aisle finds very few alkaline forming foods. Well, we don't have a glacier. We don't typically have, you know, fresh streaming water. Um, one way to do it, and this has been studied by the Japanese, is a process called ionization. It's actually um, running some electricity through the water. It even um, changes the molecular structure. We can see a, a more health-giving pattern when looked under electron mic microscope. So ionization is, is an option and a choice for many people if you don't have a glacier. Numerous peer-reviewed scientific studies have been performed in well-respected universities and hospitals around the world which show the benefit of alkaline ionized water. 
there are four very specific properties um, to these healing waters that are found in these mountainous regions that are flowing from the glaciers. Water molecules um, naturally exist in a cluster and some people call it hexagonal which would be six so they naturally exist in a cluster of six water molecules. I was really excited when I started actually to quote unquote play with the water in my own kitchen with different supplements, with powders and tea and oil and all the different things that I worked with and you could really see the life to the water. Alkaline ionized water is called living water. It is similar in atomic structure to the waters that the people of Hunza drink directly from glacial streams in the high Himalayas. It is fresh, invigorating, life enhancing, free radical scavenging, and delicious. It is the ability of that water to reduce the oxygenation uh, of the body. And the property of the water that actually gives it this negative ORP or the, the potential to reduce the aging in our body is the act of hydrogen. The earth is loaded with free electrons and where that comes from is lightning strikes. Okay, So we have all this energy potential in the earth that's imparted to the water. In its natural state, water has a similar or even perhaps more powerful ability to quench out free radicals or inflammatory processes. Water in its natural state, microclustered, alkalinized, is going to give you, in essence, the most bang for your buck. Don't waste your fluid on coffee. Don't waste your fluid on energy drinks or sodas. Absolutely not. That's just going to make your condition worse.